Hello friends, in this tutorial, I will discuss a simple example of a static structure. So look at the figure. So this is the simple UDL load under the simple supported beam. So we are going to analyze this in ANSYS and, you, and we check what will be the maximum bending stress and the maximum deflection. You see here this is a structural steel having a cross section 200 mm to 200 mm and the modulus of elasticity is 200 gigapascal and tensile yield stress strength is 250 megapascal and uh, after doing the analytical method we get the result of maximum bending stress is 76 megapascal and maximum deflection is 6.35 mm so let's check it with the help of ANSYS so go to the structural steel go to the structural static structural now go to the engineering data now here this is a steel by default selected so you just convert this young modulus into mega pascal and also tensile yield strain into mega pascal now go to the geometry open the geometry by right click and new design model geometry Now this static structural design modeler is open so first create a cross sections so look here the cross section is of 200 into 200 mm and the length of this cross section is 4 meter so first make a cross section of 200 into 200 mm so just choose the xy plane and make it normal by clicking here so once it become normal so go to a sketching now go to rectangle first uh, convert this unit into millimeter now this is in millimeter so go to draw select rectangle and make a rectangle now go to dimension go to general and uh, H1 is uh, 200 mm B2 make it 200 mm now go choose horizontal so this line and this so H3 is 100 and go to vertical and this line and this line so V4 also 100 now this rectangle come in the center of the axis now generate it now go to modeling now inside the model just extrude this geometry so extrude just apply the geometry by selecting the sketch from this plane and go to apply and uh, the just giving the thickness so the length is 4000 mm that is 400 4 meter now click on extrude sorry click on generate now once you generate it look here the rectangular cross section of 200 into 204 meter bar is created so next step so the next step we have to do the meshing so once the geometry is created now again go to ANSYS look, look here there is a right uh, green check that means the geometry is created now go to the model 
by double clicking open the model so the model is open and uh, the next uh, look here the geometry we make and material we have selected that is the structural steel now next is the mesh that is the the thunder symbol here look it means we have to do this operation so go to mesh right click on the mesh and generate mesh so this is structural is mesh successfully look here there is a coarse mesh not a fine mesh so it is okay not a big problem because this is a simple structure so after meshing complete after completing the mesh just go to the static structural where we apply the boundary conditions so go to static structural so this is the udl on simple supported beam that means one end is fixed and another end is free uh, another end is on the roller support so they go to the support and uh, fix support so we are selected instead of face we are selected age now select this age click apply now the blue symbol is appear that means this is fixed as you see here now go to the static structural now again go to support there is a displacement so in this side provide the display displacement select this age and apply now look this yellow symbol indicate the displacement is applied and uh, next we have to provide the translation motion that is a linear motion in the z direction so this bar is moving in z direction freely so the z component here three components are there x component y component and z component so z component is free as we apply the load so there is a no uh, there is a no movement in y and x direction so just x component become zero and uh, y component also zero and uh, leave z component as free because the movement occur in z direction when we apply the load so the next again go to the static structural just apply the udl so go to the load or you can also by right click on the static structural go to insert and also apply the force now click here the face so now you can select the face of this geometry so just select this face where you apply the load so just apply now look in the figure how much load you have to apply so the 50 kilo newton per meter that means this is the udl so just convert this udl into the point load so just multiply the 50 into 4 that is 200 kilo newton load so apply the load here 200 kilo newton so instead of vector that is defined by vector here just to convert in this vector into component once you click on the component look here there is a coordinate system x y and z so by this cartesian you can observe here there is a y direction in upward so you have to apply the force in y direction so just uh, apply that is 200 kilo newton one two three this is 200 kilo newton force i have applied in y component look here the direction of this force in, is in upward direction so we have to convert this direction in downward direction so just uh, apply the negative and okay now look here the direction is changed now so my boundary condition is ready now now next we go for the result so just solve this so it is solving Now look in the solution there is a green check that means the solution is ready now go to the solution 
then right click on the solution there is option insert now in the insert there is a deformation stress strain energy volume stress tool fatigue so there are several options so i need a deformation so just uh, first we go to the stress and choose a one mesh stresses and again go to solution and instead of going solution you can also uh, uh, giving the stress from here strain from here and deformation so i need a deformation that is a, that is the directional deformation so in y direction i need to find the deformation so just going to the orientation instead of x i'll choose y direction now again go for solve so look here the solution is ready now now go to the equivalent stress and uh, now look here so the maximum stress is 74.96 mega pascal and uh, just go to our analytical solution so here also the maximum bending stress look here that is 76 mega pascal so it is near about same so this uh, analysis is nearly equal about the analytical analysis so here go to the directional deformation look here the maximum deformation is 6.29 and here also the maximum deflection is 6.35 so it is also near about equal so just uh, take a look in uh, with animation just click on animate now look here the how the beam will deform and uh, the stress will produce on the beam so let's go to the probe so this probe option we are used here to find the minimum and maximum uh, that means we find here the locations at what location the maximum stress is generated so where will be the maximum stress so go to the maximum probe it automatically indicates where the maximum stress indicate or induced so look here this part the maximum stress is induced and go for the minimum so that is in the middle that the middle part the stress is minimum uh, we can say that the neutral part or in the lower the stress is maximum so you can also just uh, click here and click on the middle just look i am clicking on the middle the bond misses stress that is the maximum stress is 74.758 here and in the middle the stress is 3.03 that is very negligible stress so this component is safe because here the tensile yield point is 250 mega pascal so there is no bother about this now next directional deformation also you can change see this directional deformation so in this direction the deformation is maximum and here the deformation is minimum that is minimum in the sense here it uh, indicates the negative that means this is the maximum deformation in this region that is 6.2983 that is in the negative side of the y axis so like this we can do the analysis that is a simple analysis of the udl in simple supported beam that's all for today thank you